We're now seeing new video of a parasail dragging a mother and two young boys as winds whiffed them around. That woman died after the parasail crashed into the old Seven Mile Bridge that happened in the Keys. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live in Southwest Miami Dade with what we're learning from that video, Janine. And the video shows that parasail moments after the line was cut. We have to warn you, it is tough to watch. The new video is terrifying, showing an out of control parasail carrying a mom and two kids, dragging them through choppy water. A report from state officials says the captain cut the line tethered to the three victims because a gust of wind blowing in the chute could have dragged the boat if they stayed attached. A good Samaritan operating this white center console and his passengers rushing in to perform CPR after the parasail then blew into the old seven mile bridge. He was letting me know, help me, help me. And we got him in the boat, you know, immediately. And then we got the other kid that was unconscious and then we got his mom in the boat. The victims, a family on vacation here from Illinois. 33 year old Supraja Alaparthi was killed. Her 10 year old son and nine year old nephew hurt. The parasail boat captain is identified by authorities as 49 year old Dan Couch. We went to his listed address. Know them by any chance? Please be respectful. Yes, I do. I don't have any. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one there wanted to say much. Is it being an active investigation? and everything, it's nobody's place. The report by Florida Fish and Wildlife shows that severe weather was a factor and you can see dark clouds in the sky. Prosecutors say they are waiting on more reporting from law enforcement to determine if charges will be filed. And one of those injured boys at last check still here at Nicholas Children's Hospital. The investigation into what happened continues. We're in Southwest Miami-Dade. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.